Aloha friends and welcome back. I'm here with baby Isla and today I wanted to change her into a different outfit, try to do something different with her hair and I will give you a tip on how to treat your baby dolls if they get stained accidentally. So if you're excited about this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and keep watching. Baby Isla here is having a nice time on her mat, playing and looking at her books. But right now she is trying to put together her rainbow pyramid. So I thought I would help her. Okay, baby Isla, let's go ahead and put the next one. You picked the right one. There we go. Okay, next we'll put yellow. There we go. Good job. Good job. Now we only have orange and the red ball. Yay, you did it. You did it, girl. Good job. Well, girly, now that you're all done with this, I'll put it up on our shelf. And let's go ahead and change your outfit. Baby Isla looks really good with these puffy skirts. So I've got something that's kind of similar but it's a different color. Okay, so I have this shirt that I think she'll look really cute in with a fishy and some hearts, little ruffles here. And to match it, we'll have this puffy little skirt. Well, it's not as puffy as this one, but it's cute and it has this little tulle, but it's a different color, but it matches her top. So let's go ahead and change her into that. And then I'll see if I can do something with her hair or if we can find a matching headband. All right, baby girl, hands up. Let's go ahead and take this skirt off. This was a nice skirt too, but it's time to have a different outfit. Okay. Oh, our hair is getting all messed up. But that's okay, we'll be changing it anyways. In fact, let's go ahead and take these little rubber bands off. Oops. That was a cute hairstyle, wasn't it? All right, and last one. <laughs> there she is. All right, girly, let's go ahead and put this one on. Oh, that looks so good on her, this color. So cute. What do you guys think? I think it's beautiful on her. Okay, now for the skirt. By the way, these outfits are from Walmart. These are Granimals, zero to three months. Oh, and the skirt also has a little diaper cover built in. That's nice. Okay, let's take a look. Oh my, let's pull this shirt a little bit out. So cute, look at that. I think it's a really pretty outfit. What do you guys think? Doesn't she look so cute in it? I think so. Now, what shall we do with her hair? Oh my, I need to get a brush and brush it a little bit probably. Okay guys, I don't really know what I'm doing because I've never had dolls with curly hair like this. But I'm just trying to kind of brush it and then wet it so it curls up again. I do have this little set with all kinds of rubber bands and little clips. And I wanted to use it, but there's nothing that really matches this outfit except I guess maybe these ones. So I don't know, let me take a look what I can do.
Okay, so shall we do something like this? Or should I put any of these clips? Look at that, that's kind of cute too. Not sure if it really matches anything, but that's one cute option. Or here are some options of headbands we can use. So let's see, this one doesn't quite match. Um, this one, not quite. Pink one would be nice, but I wonder if this one, this one kind of matches closer. Or even this one, because it's made out of tulle. This, this, or this, or this. I'm kind of thinking, let's try this one. Oh, look at her. I think she looks adorable. Let's sit you up, baby. Oh, doesn't she look so cute? I love this outfit on her. Here, baby. I've got a cute little fish for you. Here, you want it? Of course. What a fun rattle, huh? Here, yeah, you can hold it yourself. Good job. Would you like a little snack, baby? Here, let me get your bib real quick. Here's your bib. Do you want a little rice cracker? Let's open it up. There you go. You can hold it. You can munch on it. Good job. Another bite? Nice. Here, you can keep munching on it. And while baby Isla is munching on her cracker, I wanted to tell you guys something. Do you remember our last video with baby Isla? She was eating some watermelon and she had a nice picnic outside and a stroller ride. If you missed that video, I'll link it up right here. But in that video, what you didn't see is after I fed her with a real watermelon, her skin got all stained right around her mouth. And it also stained one of her hands. And for some strange reason, I had no idea that that would happen. So it stained her skin and it actually stained her clothes as well. So I was really worried because her skin became really orange around here and between her fingers here. And I really thought I ruined her. But then I remembered that I have a trick that I've always used on my vinyl dolls for many years that worked wonders. And that is an acne cream. This one I got at Target, and you wanted to make sure that it has peroxide in it. This one has 2.5%, and that is what helps to bleach those unwanted stains. In fact, if you have any stains on your doll, especially like an ink mark, or stain from food, or anything else, really, here's what you do. You take a little bit of this cream, you smear it all over the spot where you have that stain, and then you take your doll on a super bright sun. You have to do this on a very sunny day because sun is what activates it. So you wait until the layer of that cream dries on the doll and you can even leave the doll on the sun for some hours. And then usually when you wash it off afterwards, the stain will be gone. Unless it's a really deep stain, then you would have to repeat the treatment um, one or two more times. For this baby doll, I only had to do it once and I'm so happy to report that she is back to normal. She doesn't have any orange around her mouth and around her fingers as well. So in case you didn't know about this trick, I wanted to share it with you in case you have any baby dolls that you need to restore. But do not use this on your reborns. I have never tried it and I do not recommend it because I think it will strip the paint. So this is just for realistic baby dolls like these ones that are factory painted and it's best to do it on the spot where it doesn't have the paint on. It's just pure vinyl. So that's it for my trick. Let me know if you knew about it in the comments below or if this was news to you. Well friends, I will let baby Isla work on her cracker, but I hope that you really enjoyed this video and that you liked her new outfit. If you do, go ahead and give her a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any of our new videos, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Say bye baby Isla! Bye bye!